<laughs> What's good, fellas? So listen up. How to not become a beta male. Right? Real quick, y'all, check out the new IG. Alpha Male Blueprint is out. You want the secret on becoming an alpha male, not even addressing the beta male? Bro, just go get the program, you feel me? All right, but anyways, how to not become a beta male. Now, in society and today, guys, like the reason why I'm doing this video, this is an important video. I can't believe I ain't done this before. In society today, we got boys being raised by a lot of single mothers. I got respect for the single mothers out there. Um, personally, this ain't attacking women. You know, I got to put that out there. This ain't attacking women. But we got boys being raised the wrong way. We got society trying to say boys, uh, trying to be men or grow into being a man, taking your, uh, uh, going through your trial to become a man because men don't just arise from a boy. You feel me? A girl can grow into a woman. A boy can't just grow into a man. A boy has to go through trials and tribulations to become a man. A boy has to get put through that furnace to really become a real man. Not this little weird stuff that's going on today in society. Nah, that's not cutting it. That's not how it's supposed to go. You feel me? Uh, I digress. We got a lot of boys. Society is telling you what you're doing is toxic masculinity. You say you're being a man. Society says, hey, that's toxic masculinity. They're essentially saying they don't want boys to to become men. They don't want to groom men anymore. All right, this is what society's putting on y'all. What I'm trying to tell y'all is right out the gate, you got to wipe your mind blank. Straight up blank. Guys, the first step is to not give a fuck about what anybody is saying, society, whatever the hell. You have to do you. And you got to be proud of how you're doing it. You got to be proud of how you carry yourself. You got to have respect for yourself, first and foremost. And let me tell you something. No alpha male, no man, like a man about his business, a man's man, is going to lower himself, degrade himself, try to kiss ass to appease somebody or you know, some some woman is simp and be an only fan and do all this and that. No real man will respect for himself does any of that stuff, guys. You just don't. I don't contemplate whether or not I'm finna get an only fan subscription. That's not part of my vocab. That's not in my vernacular. It doesn't register. That's not even a thought. The only time I'm talking about only fans is when I'm Trying to get somebody off of it. Or telling guys, hey, you better than that. If she want to get her money, she can get her money from somebody else. Not from you though, right? Self-respect is so important, guys. That's the, that's the first thing. That's the first thing right there. Number two, this important thing right here. How to not become a beta male. Don't put woman, women on the pedestal. Just because, just out of the gate, because, well, she has breast and she has booty, so she's on a pedestal. No, no. Just because she got that don't mean she, you know, royalty to you or your queen or your, your princess, whatever fairy tale movie you want to write and, and try to act out with her. That, that's not the case, Right? Guys, don't assume these women are out here just, you know, good girls. Because they're really not. Most of them are. Hey, you got to test them out, though, guys. That's the third thing right here. How to not become a beta male. You're not just assuming that she's all about you. You're not assuming that she's not hypergamous. Because she is. She's very hypergamous. And she's very good at actually hiding it. All right. Don't assume this stuff, guys. You can't be assuming. You feel me? Like. Here's the thing. When it comes to women. How to not be a beta when it comes to women, at least. Just like they have expectations of men 
and what we need to do and what we need to be, how successful we need, we need to be, right? How much money we got to have, how much status we got to have, how, how much muscle we got to have, how tall we are, all this stuff. The list goes on, right? The list goes on. Do you have a boat? No? Oh, on to the next. Sorry, you don't meet my quality. You're not tall enough. Right? They got a lot of expectations on us. Well, guess what? You don't want to be a beta male? You don't be kissing ass and get walked over by these women? Guess what? You need to have standards. You need to have expectations as far as how she needs to present herself to you to be with you. You feel me? You need to have standards. She got to raise her bar up to you. You feel me? She shouldn't just be able to be with you or get with you just because she's a woman and she's attractive to you. That's not enough. She's going to have to bring something else to the table. Right? These women are used to, hey, you need to have this. You need to have that. Or or I'm just not going to feel you. I'm not going to be attracted to you. This and that. Their expectations are through the roof. Hey, here's a lesson right here. All right? We talking about a damn table. Listen, if you the man, didn't you pretty much build the table? The, the table that we talking about, listen, I went out there. I chopped the wood down, right, for the table. I got the materials, the physical materials for the actual table, right? I put it together. I created the actual table. Then I brought that thing into here to put it. They, I brought the table. I made it. Right? So you mean to ask me what I'm bringing to the... See, that's the mindset that beta males have. They're like, oh, I got to bring more to the table. You made the table. But maybe you didn't. I don't know. I got the mindset, hey, my table's already made. It's furnished. Decorations, whatever the case is, she needs to do that. Okay, that's her, her that's her portion for the table. I built it, I brought it in. All right, now now what you finna do, baby? You finna decorate it, you finna make it look pretty? All right, then go ahead and bring your portion. Okay, that's her proving herself though. That's her playing her role. You did your role, did your job. She need to do the same thing. You need to expect to be reciprocated for the effort that you put in. Not just you dishing out all this stuff and compliments and validating all the time for no freaking reason. Like she winning awards left and right, and like she, she like she doing something for you, right? And ain't done nothing, and actually expecting her. To, okay, well you need to put this in, put this effort in too. I'm doing this. All right, reciprocate that. Expect to be reciprocated for the kind of energy that you put out. She need to follow suit. That's fair, right? That's fair. That's fair, man. Beta males do not understand this. Beta males. Always think they're trying to impress the woman. Beta males think that they're just trying to get by in life in general. Beta males settle, right? And something else. Beta males don't understand that, hey, in order for you as a man to get anything you desire, right? Because you got to work at it. You got to build yourself up. Beta males don't understand that you need to be selfish, you got to be selfish to establish yourself as who you want to be in society. As a, as a real man, you have to do that. You got to be selfish. You don't got time to put women on pedestals just because. If she hasn't earned it, she don't get that. She don't get that. She shouldn't get your full energy all the time. Don't you have something higher priorities? Are you trying to establish yourself? You have other things to take care of. You have to build your foundation. You need to be selfish. How can she even rely on you as a real man, right? Because she can't rely on no beta male. If you haven't got the foundation together, you building an empire, you ain't got no foundation. It's going to crumble. She sees that. She sees you as a beta male. She can't trust you. She can't vibe with you. You're not strong. Beta males don't fight for what they want. You don't want to be like that. Be a go-getter, right? If there's something that you're passionate about that you want to do, go out there and get it. Put in work, accomplish your goals, 
You know, make these dreams come true. Beta males don't do that. Guys, have integrity. Have conviction about what you want, what you desire. Go out there and get it. Pursue it. Make it yours. That's how you don't be a beta male.